Hey, I'm Miriam with Dorman Products, here to talk to you about our OE Fix intake manifold that fits the eco diesel engine found in Ram trucks and Jeep vehicles. The concept of a diesel engine in a light duty truck chassis has been tested before. Unlike the Cummins found in larger Ram trucks, the eco diesel strives to achieve longevity but balances brute torque with thriftiness in terms of fuel usage, but uses about 70% of the fuel. Many owners chose this engine option due to the longevity and high residual value a diesel engine lends to a vehicle. For those reasons, repairs are made at a higher rate than similarly equipped gas vehicles. Owners have a keen interest in keeping these vehicles rolling along. There are a few well-known flaws with this engine pertaining to the intake manifold. Customers often complain about severe loss of power, lots of smoke, and a burning smell. P2020 and P200A are intake runner codes that can be the symptom a shop investigates. These can sometimes be traced to soot in the manifold, which enters by way of the EGR valve. There's actually a dealer recall related to some EcoDiesel EGR coolers. A failed cooler often leads to soaring temperatures in the manifold, which is now receiving hotter than normal exhaust gases. Temperatures have climbed high enough that owners have experienced melted manifolds and even vehicle fires. If you get the complaints of no power and burning smell, this may be related, but the less alarming IMRC codes I mentioned earlier may stem from the seemingly unrelated EGR issue. Many vehicles are still rolling with damaged intake manifolds, and unfortunately, the problem can affect vehicles that haven't even suffered damage to the EGR cooler. A bad EGR cooler may have been repaired under warranty, but even when it's fixed, it may have already caused a few problems downstream even if the manifold appears to visually pass muster. The soot contained within diesel exhaust begins coking up the inside of the manifold, which doesn't do engine performance any favors, and it can also prevent the IMRC system from working as designed, which is what causes the trouble codes. Regen cycles to help clean the DPF add even more soot and heat from the EGR system. Carbon buildup gets severe enough in the manifold that it acts as an insulator, trapping heat against the manifold warping it and causing hot spots, increasing the likelihood for a leak. Temperatures often rise so high that the manifold runners and map sensor are damaged or melted, and the burning polymer also acts as another contaminant that can foul the intake manifold runner control system. When we investigated this problem, we knew the solution would need to be multifaceted. We tested many designs and rapid prototyped them in order to figure out why things weren't working as designed. After many installs and countless testing miles, we hit upon the perfect blend of upgrades with our new OE Fix manifold. First, and most importantly, we deal with the map sensor, which frequently sets up leading to trouble codes. You'll also find the sensor melts, especially if a failed EGR cooler is present on the vehicle. The engine's designers knew the sensor needed to be shielded from heat, so they designed a shroud for the sensor. Most noticeably, we moved the map sensor farther out of the path of the hot EGR gases. Next, we deepened the shroud skirt. This actually accomplishes two things. In addition to better protecting the map sensor, as one would expect, it also helps divert some of the EGR heat and soot through the intake as the engineers intended. Finally, we offer our manifold bare, so sensors that are still operational can be swapped over or replaced on an as-needed basis saving your customer money and allowing you a better chance at selling the job due to the lower cost on the estimate when comparing with the original equipment solution, which can only be purchased with a map sensor, IMRC motor, and both runner sensors. Diagnosing these issues requires some investigation and your customer's symptoms will dictate what you start examining, but the manifold can definitely be something to check out in the case of either IMRC codes or drivability complaints. Perhaps the biggest advantage you'll get using our OE Fix manifold is its cleanliness. Traditional cleaning methods like manual removal of debris and chemical means of decarbonization can both prove ineffective and detrimental due to the small port size, limited access because of the runners and flaps, and polymer construction. Once the smoking gun is found, replacement is straightforward R&R. It's a bit tight in some areas and fuel lines will need to be disconnected as one would expect. The job requires a few hours plus a few additional minutes if you swap the original sensors over to the new OE Fix manifold. While you're in there, examine the turbo coolant feed line and replace it with our 667-562 to prevent issues down the road. There's no point in doing the job twice. We hope you like this new solution and remember if you need anything at all, the Dorman Technical Support Team is always available to help.
Thanks for checking out our video on this OE fix intake manifold for Ram and Jeep Eco Diesels. I'm Miriam and I'll see you next time.